Hi, I'm Aiden Saratoga, and I read The Boy Who Invented TV, the story of Philo Farnsworth by Kathleen Coy. This book won the Orbis Pictus Prize for Children's Nonfiction in 2010. This book, as you can see, is a picture book with many detailed illustrations. The illustrations help explain the complex subject matter in a way that makes it easier to understand. At a young age, Philo's father took him to a train station and explained how it worked. This piqued his interest in machinery. As many interesting inventions like the phonograph and the telephone developed, he became very interested in becoming an inventor and to develop great electrical devices. Then he started reading one of his favorite science magazines and he saw the word television. It was something like a radio, except it sent pictures instead of sound. It didn't exist yet, but scientists were trying to invent one. Philo then became very interested. There was an electric generator in his home, but it broke down a lot. Every time the repairman came, Philo bombarded him with questions. Soon, he was able to fix the generator himself, so his parents wouldn't have to pay to fix it. Scientists kept trying to invent the TV, but had no luck using mechanical discs and mirrors. One day... Philo was plowing the potato field when he realized the TV shouldn't be mechanical. It should be electrical. When he saw the sun shining on the rows of potatoes, perfectly parallel, he thought that electrons should go through a tube or wire and be reassembled in tubes and therefore creating the original image. In college, Philo went to radio parties but he thought that the radio was boring since there was nothing to look at. This made him finally want to invent the television. He then saw two California businessmen and they gave him $6,000 and one year to develop the television. Philo just forgot one thing. He added too much power and it exploded in front of everyone. Then they gave him another year and it worked. The first image shown was a bluish line. Then he got more and more advanced until it was perfect. And then he knew that the future would include TV. This is a great story and worthy of this prize because it is the true story of a farm boy who becomes a self-made inventor who creates one of the most profound achievements of the 20th century.